Yeah, well, there just aren't that many universities, you know, doing this. Uh, th you know, there's Johns Hopkins that performed the psilocybin study. Um, and there's the University of, Ar of Arizona where that study happened with giving psilocybin to people with obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, so those are only two centers in the U.S. that are giving psilocybin. There aren't any giving DMT or ayahuasca. There's so you really have to create it yourself? You, you, well, you have to get the best training possible. Um, and so I just, went to the, I, I just went to the best college I could. I went to the best medical school I could. I just got as well-rounded and deep as an education as possible. Um, I did some spiritual homework by being involved with the Zen community. Um, I had my own personal psychoanalysis to kind of get some of my own neuroses out of the way. Um, so having credentials in any kind of research is important. Well, you have to have credentials. And, and I also had the experience of doing that, um, uh, that melatonin research for about three years. You know, so I knew how to write grants. I uh, knew how to discuss the language of psychopharmacology and receptors. Um, I knew some some statistics. Um, I had an ongoing relationship with a research unit.